an awesome episode. Welcome to another episode of Fish Sticks and Friends. I've already introduced this guy. He's gonna. Uh, I'm gonna try to talk him into singing. He brought his guitar, uh, but he goes everywhere with that thing. He doesn't want to <laughs> sing tonight. I don't know what the deal is. Well, I'm gonna try to talk him into singing. The reason we brought him in is because uh, we met him. We met him a little while ago, Fourth uh, of July weekend, actually, down in Lake Jackson, which is his hometown, and uh, he he. He now owns uh, one of our American flag uh, fish stick rods, the Freedom Sticks. And he's been sending awesome pictures and stuff like that. Apparently, he fishes a little bit. He never started fishing until he got that rod. <laughs> and now he catches big fish, so it's amazing. But anyways, uh, you're debuting a new song or something? When do you, when do you got this new song coming out? Or is it already uh, out? No, yeah, I just kind of threw it out there for my friends to hear, you know. and just uh, It's a song called Red. Yeah, and it's not to do with the fish. It's about to do with the color of your neck. Yes, and it it's is. awesome. <laughs> I don't know. What I'm thinking is, should we start off by playing that song, or should we let them wait? And uh, I say we let them wait a minute and just let let them let uh, them build up a little bit. Yeah, they could either decide if they want to uh, cancel now. Yeah, or they could call their friends and say, "Hey, y'all, check this out. The real cold eggs is on Fish Sticks Live on Fish Sticks and Friends. And he's about to sing a new song we've never heard. Yeah, there you go. So we'll let them. Yeah. Right now, I can tell y'all how close this camera is to our face. Yeah. Right. I've never had a camera this close in my face ever. Ever. And he has paparazzi like one or two times every quarter. <laughs> so you know, it's a uh, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> we were talking. We got a feeling our breath may fog up the lens. That's how close <laughs> this camera is. It probably looks like it's far away, but it's unnaturally close. Wouldn't yeah. you say? What you looking? It almost seems like a microphone. It really does. <laughs> hey. Uh, well, before you get started out. Can I show them a new rod you've been working on? Uh, do you want to yep. show them the new model? Yeah, look at this one. Hunter's been working on this all day. Now check this out. Now how did, this is a this new right. model. This is a, this is like 2017. Uh, look at that right there. Blast from the past. Look like you had to put it on a little wood spinner. And, you know, I figured, look, guys are wearing skinny jeans, and everything's kind of going back to, you know, bell bottoms eventually. And stuff so we're like going to take it back to this? Yeah, so we're going to go back to rods that weigh three pounds a piece. Look at this thing. Good gar rod. We're actually re-wrapping this for a, a buddy of mine. It's been here for a while, but we've been so busy, we're going to eventually get it re-wrapped. <laughs> but yeah, that thing has three total eyes. You could pull up a tractor tire with that thing. <laughs> I imagine you could, depending on the size of the tractor. That's not a fish stick, so I, I don't know. It's probably not that strong. We don't know what it can do. That's I, right. I don't imagine do it could do it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, while we're talking about rods, though, check these bad boys out. That's cool. Yeah. So... These are neon pink, folks, and we just received about 80 of these things, so we're going to start building some different models off of them, but uh, if you're interested in a really, really neon pink, and usually a lot of our customers know that uh, when we do custom painted rods, you have to pay a little extra to, to, for our painter, but because I ordered 80 of these, there's no additional cost, so if you want a pink rod, now's the time to get you a pink rod before the, uh, before the additional cost, and so anyways... I've been telling all my friends we're going to have a, a musician on tonight, all right? But a lot of them didn't understand, and a lot of them thought I said magician, <laughs> all right? I got friends with hard hearing. So what I'm going to do, you don't even know about this, all right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a magic trick, yes. and I want everybody out there to give us likes and wows. If you think my magic trick is cool, and then we're going to let him sing his song, and if you think that's cool, then give likes and wows. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to go by who got the most likes and wows. Yeah. You're All right. Done. You're done for. No, so, I'm <laughs> no, I imagine I am. Oh, you're not going to do the same one you just did for me? Should I do that one or should I do the cards? No, do the cards. All right. I'm going to do the cards. We, if they like it and we have an extra time, we'll do the other one. Because he was really blown away at the other one. But he went to school at Lake Jackson, so it don't take a lot to blow him away, does it? Now, Hunter, that is oh, not very nice. Hey, I did want to throw that out there. He is Lake Jackson's own Brazoswood alumni. So. Brazoswood alumni. All right, but check this out. You can see, and this camera's close. I may stand up and do this from behind. All right, look. This is a standard deck of cards. All right, now. Standard. Very standard. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do that same thing to you, and you're going to pick a card, show the audience, but don't show me. Now I'm going to keep this deck in the camera. All right. Tell me when to stop. You'd be looking. Stop. Whoa. All right, go ahead. Take this bottom one right? Yeah, take the bottom one. Don't show me. Okay. All right, put it back in the stack. Oh, do I show them? Yeah, show the audience. Don't show me. All right. 
Now, what all I'm going to do is simply raise your card to the top of that stack. All right. You can't see it, but the card's rising right now. All right. Pick up that top card and show the audience. Was that your card? I believe that was my card. <laughs> oh, folks. Now give me some likes and wows. All right. Give me some likes and wows. All right. Now, I didn't have to move to Nashville to learn how to do that. All right. I was born with that talent. <laughs> That's enough of the build up. I say I say we hear your song red. What do you think? You ready to do it? You wanna this? do a little red? Guys, I'm gonna warn you now, this is like a surgeon general warning. It will get stuck in your head, you're gonna be doing dishes tonight, you're gonna be going to bed, and this song will be stuck in your head. But let's do it. I got just enough gas to get to the beer store. Yeah, and get on back. I got a little money stashed between the drywall and a paper sack. I got air in a tire and a trailer hitch tacked on to the end of my house. I got just enough bullets from my 45 in case it all goes south. Yeah. I'm rolling on a five inch lift on 44, yeah, still ain't high enough. I got a couple good friends to push my bell in case you run a little low on luck. I got a sticker on my bumper that proudly reads Mr. Trump for President. And an uncle doing time at a southern Alabama age working on a four year stint. Well, I'm a red, red, that's what I said. Cool on my neck, it's a morning bread. I live it, breathe it, never gonna leave it. Put it on a stone above my head. I'm a red, yeah. My front lawn's a graveyard for old truck parts And a poster with a woman top of 57 Chevy's a priceless work of art I bought a little white goat to cut my grass Yeah, he's doing one hell of a job I keep a dog on a chain named me and Joe Green And chew you up a light corn on a cob Yeah, I'm a red, red, what I said Cut on my neck, it's a barn and bread Live at a breathe and I'm never gonna leave it Put it on the stone above my head, I'm a red, yeah. Mama made me red. Yeah, I'm a red, red, that's what I said. Color on my neck, it's a born and bred. I live at a breathe and I'm never gonna leave it. Put it on a stone above my head, I'm a red, that's what I said. Color on my neck, it's a born and bred. I live it, breathe it, never gonna leave it. Put it on a stone above my head, I am red. Lord knows I'm red. <laughs> now that was awesome. I gotta give you props. I gotta give you props. Thanks, bro. Folks, if you're not liking and wowing that, there's something wrong. You probably lost connection or something. I don't know. I wrote that song when I actually went to my farm in East Texas, where you're from. I'm not from your farm. Well, no, not from my farm, no. <laughs> East Texas. <laughs> East Texas is weird. Uh, but it's not that weird. Not that weird. Yeah, I went up there and my aunt, I walked into my aunt's trailer and she had a goat in the kitchen and I was just like, oh, Lord, you're red. <laughs> so that's where I came from. <laughs> I got to believe that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just hey, but uh, what I like about it is, uh, first off, you can you can feel the passion when you're singing. Like you went from joking mode to like I'm like holy crud, you know this is George Strait type stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, thank you, brother. Yeah. But uh, what's cool about it is the fact that when you got here, you said that this was the second your second favorite thing that you ever hold in your hand, your guitar. The other is uh, fish sticks for sure. Exactly. That's fish what I thought. What's up? We didn't even discuss this. No. Or <laughs> yeah. So fish sticks was number one. So that's pretty cool. And with fish sticks, you catch a red. I catch a red, so it's kind of like. Yeah. Now, ultimately, you are a trout guy. Is that what you like the most? I do like to catch speckled trout. I do, yeah. I, I like to catch redfish, too, but I love to, uh, yeah, I love to catch a big speckled trout. There you go. And uh, first off, I want to get into your history. 
as a as a musician, not a magician. All right, I don't think you can press anybody with your magic like I can. It's really my hat. <laughs> but uh, but so you grew up in Lake Jackson and you started singing. How old were you? Oh gosh, I think I had my first lead in the musical at fourth grade, something like that. So it was. I didn't just wake up one day and decide I've been doing it my whole life. So you know, I didn't just wake up and sit down and do music one day. It's a so were there just not a lot of kids in music class in fourth grade? Oh, no, there was a lot of them. There was a bunch of them. Some of them still tell me they're like, you were her favorite all the time. Oh, and they get mad at me still, you know, to this day. They're like, you Did you bring her an apple and all that stuff? Oh, yeah. She, I'm still, she was the best music. Effie Kemp was her name. Yeah, she was our, our music teacher. That's awesome. awesome. So, uh, and in the time that you grew up singing, you were obviously an avid fisherman. And then from the time what, when you graduated, you moved to the big town of Nashville, huh? I did. I did. Yeah, I moved up there, and I, I was in Nashville for 20 years writing songs, and I had an album come out, and uh, did all that fun stuff for about 22 years, and uh, uh, yeah, it was amazing being surrounded by musicians and, and artists and songwriters and stuff. I learned a lot up there, and I love Nashville. I miss Nashville. I came back down here about five years ago and <clears throat> got to soak myself in the salt water again, so there I was... You go. Uh, I was missing it for years, so I'm glad to be back down here. And I bet it's nice playing on these uh, really hot, humid summer nights outside on the porch of a uh, yeah of a restaurant. Well, you can see my guitar cracking, and because it just yeah. And all, they just don't have that authenticity in Nashville. They don't have the salt air <laughs> right. sticking to the back of your neck. Exactly, <laughs> you know? exactly. So you got to admit that's kind of a uh, nostalgic. Yeah, like whenever you die, you got Elvis's mansion. Yeah. And then you got Cole's guitar with salt cracks and stuff. Right at the same level. I, mean, I think right so. There. I think so. Uh, we got to somehow figure out a place to put it so people could tour it and stuff like that. Sure. But uh, I'm willing to sign the wall out in front of it or whatever. It doesn't matter to me. We'll put a big glass glass enclosed case right out of San Louis Pass. And they just walk <laughs> put, out there a, put a life jacket on it, though. It. All right? I'll put a life jacket on it. <laughs> yeah. We don't... Hey, guys, seriously. Be careful at San Louis Pass. This is... Uh, this is like All BS the, aside, be yes. careful out there. This is uh, another tragedy this week, uh, two people. So anyways, that was for real, though. If you go to San Luis Pass, be careful. Read the warning signs and stuff like that. You grew up there. That's one of your favorite places to fish, isn't it? Yeah, I fish there all the time. Not in the dangerous areas, but right beside them. You know? Now, what would I mean, you say is the dangerous areas? I think we're right by the bridge is as dangerous as it gets. I mean, the right. tide ripping through there, and that's where everybody's just getting... Would you say, uh, like, the front side of it, as you get towards the surf, you know, stay away from that area too? Or? Absolutely. Anywhere yeah. there's signs. Any, there's, that place is covered in signs out there. Yeah. I've never, I mean, it was, but there were signs when I was a kid out there, so. Yeah, but everybody ignores them like, oh. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I think so. And I understand the guys, when the slip's popping and you, you just got to get to You want to get to it. Right. You're like, I, I didn't see a sign. You can't read it from the water. Yeah. You know? So, uh, but, but for real. So you fish there and you like, is your favorite fishing wade fishing or, uh. I love to wade fish. Yeah, that's probably I. I've been wade fishing from right there in San Luis Pass all the way down to the Colorado River for my entire life, up and down through there. So with my buddies and with my family, and um, yeah, that's my stomping grounds. My stomping grounds are Lake Jackson. My fishing grounds are pretty a lot broad, broader than that. And where do you buy your cut mullet at when you go fishing? Well, I buy my corks at uh, this little bait shop down up in. I buy my cut mullet from my gar. <laughs> yeah, down off. Uh, I think I can't think of the bait camp's name now, and I don't want to embarrass them. The but. Rusty Hook or something? What? Well, it is the Rusty Hook. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go, guys. You heard it here. But what is your favorite bait? I'm not going to tell you what my favorite bait is. Uh -huh. right? well, why would I do There's a bunch of people watching out there. Why don't I want to tell you what my Look, favorite bait is? I tagged you in this video, and we had one viewer. All right? So <laughs> it's probably your mom. Hey, Cole's mom. <laughs> we got one view. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> yeah, there you go. She so, probably knows what you use anyway. So I'm not gonna I am not gonna tell you what my favorite bait is right now, but it is something it is a special bait though. Well that's exciting. I'm fine with it. I don't fish quite often enough anyways. It's a Oh really? Yeah. Man, you can make those yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can tie them all up. So you're that guy that's always doing the videos where he throws the jalapeno out there and catches redfish. Chicken egg. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> that's you know, you heard it here first. It's a it's a Yes, there you go. Hey, but so when you're in Nashville, that's pretty cool. You're uh, living in the big city with an awesome nightlife. And did you meet any uh, other singers and songwriters and stuff like that? Did you work with anybody? Constantly, constantly for 20 years. Yeah, I had the privilege of working with 
gosh, everybody, songwriters, singers, artists, and you guys wrote songs. I idolized. You wrote songs for uh, people that everybody may know, like Kenny Chesney, Gary Allen, Tracy Bird. Yeah, yeah. All those guys, you wrote songs they sing today. I do, yeah. I wrote, I, you know, I got lucky on a few of them, I guess. I don't know. Go. They just kind of, yeah, fell through the cracks, I guess. What's uh, What did you write for Kenny Chesney? I wrote a song called Live Those Songs Again. I actually wrote it in an elevator. And uh, with How many the, stories were in that uh, building you were in? There was nine. Damn. It was must nine. Have been a slow elevator. It was very slow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wrote the chorus in an elevator. Oh, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> with my buddy. And, uh... Yeah, Kenny cut it, put it on like three albums, and that was my first big cut as a songwriter. It was awesome. That's cool. That was good. And then Tracy Bird, what'd you write for that guy? I wrote the cheapest country song I've ever written in my life called uh, The Cheapest Motel. And uh, It sounds like a good country song. It is. It's the cheapest country song you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's yeah. I'm going to have to go, uh, I'm going to have to go uh, listen to it when yeah. we get down here. Yeah, for sure. Or maybe not. I have no idea. Yeah. No, it's it's a uh, yes. Yeah, hey true. guys, real quick though, uh, I got more questions for him. But if you have any questions for Cole, comment on our Facebook page. Uh, any of your questions? We got our producer Liz. She's not under the uh, Fish Sticks uh, name today. She's under Liz Welch. So if you have any questions, um, ask us on on the Facebook page, and we'll answer them for you. Do we have any questions? Not yet. All right, guys. Hey, do you have any questions? They said you have to tell your favorite thing. Oh, they said you have to tell your favorite baby. He just did. It was the yeah, I did. Hey, I'll be honest with you. You know, I use my clues a lot. All right, and a lot of our fish stick friends know that on our Facebook page we posted a uh, video, a YouTube video, that you were coming to the show, and on that YouTube video. I did get to see what bait you were using. You did. Do you know what bait that is? Yeah, it was a pink top water. Yeah, it was. I don't know who makes it. It is made by Rapala. There you go. There you go. Pink top water. Solid pink. So, well, no, not solid pink. I don't think that makes a solid pink. Hey, while we're talking about solid pink, guys, I want to show you this again. Not because <laughs> I work for fish sticks. Did you tell me? But did you see how solid pink this is? <laughs> Just want to throw that back out there. Um, yeah, Celeste wants to know where you can buy the song. Oh, hey, thank you, Celeste. We're going to get to these uh, questions in a minute, but we can go ahead and answer it. Yeah. Well, I, I just recorded the song in Nashville, and it will be out in the next couple of months on a new CD. So I'm going to put it on iTunes and everything, so you all can check it out there. That's awesome. I pictured this song like perhaps being like the cover song for My Name is Earl or something like that. Yeah, it's sure. It would be an awesome song for that. Yeah. And uh, guys, a while ago, or a while ago, I say a while ago all the time. Sure. It's East Texas. And then uh, a while ago, we were in here goofing off, and this guy just... Like created this song about fish stick rods that was immaculate, and I'm getting a new uh, we like we always get our phone ringing and I can't ever answer the phone all the time, so we're going through our buddies at Wahoo VoIP and we're getting a new uh, phone system. So now when I put people on hold, they can listen to music. Oh yeah. So we're definitely gonna have him on there. What I'm gonna do is, hey, please hold, and then they're gonna be like, yeah, I'm ready. And I'm gonna like press two to end your uh, your agony. And I'll answer the phone or press one and you keep listening. <laughs> yeah, just keep Something on like going. That. Yeah, so you never know. Maybe it'll be a big hit for you. Yeah. How about you just write one now? Oh, they said, how about you just write one now? I'm scared. Okay, guys, here it comes. Right off the top of his head. Here we go. Well, my coffee table is a tackle box. My lazy boy's a fold out chair. I got my fish sticks, rods, and damn it. I got my top pot fed and fish sticks, rods, and damn tear a case of beer. <laughs> yeah, and I'll be ready when the sun comes up. It's fishing time at last. I've been snowed it alone all winter long, just watching old Bill dance. I got my top water deep diver, brand new fish finder, help me do my thing. Big jig, purple worm, shed, wrap my rattle trap, I think I'll try my lucky 13. Yeah, all I need is a little daylight, and I'm gone, rain or shine. Thank God it is finally fish sticks time. Woohoo! 
<laughs> I like that song better than Red. Give me that fish dick. That's how you go back to Nashville and uh, redo whatever you're coming out It'll with. Be giant. Yes, hey, right off the top of his head, that's impressive. <laughs> so I think now whenever you call my number, I'm just leaving people on hold and just let them listen to that. <laughs> they can just email in if they need it. You'll be blubbering them out. <laughs> right. Hey, real quick though, if you have any questions, type it in. But also, if you want to follow Cole, you can go to coldegs.com. And it's spelled C O L E. The last name is D E G G E S. So I told him, I said, at least you didn't have the first name Bull. Yeah, my parents didn't like it. They didn't think it through and just say it real fast. It's Cole yeah. Deggs. I think Bull Deggs would have been really cool. It's my brother. It's my buddy Bull. Oh, is it? It's my cousin. First name. Is y'all's relationship hot and cold? Oh, <laughs> oh there you go. Jeez. <laughs> hey, hey, but also you can follow him on Facebook at Cold Eggs. And uh, you stay busy here locally in, uh, yeah. in Lake Jackson? Yeah. I stay busy in Brazoria County and, and uh, play shows and down here right now. And, yeah. Would you consider driving all the way over to Galveston County, the, your neighboring county, and do shows over here? I just got a gig in Galveston. Oh. Last week I got a gig in Galveston. There'll be nothing as big as the fish stick show, I can tell you that right now. Coming straight off the second sandbar, right into the hot, coming in hot to the gig. <laughs> hey, so yeah, where, uh, where exactly is your gig at? Uh, I don't know. You don't know you it's in uh it's right it's right off of St. Louis Pass in there. I was I don't even know what the place is called. That's awesome, dude. It's some private resort right there. That's cool. I like private resorts. Oh, I <laughs> imagine he does. I've never been to They don't even let me in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, also, uh you so you play in Lake Jackson pretty much Thursday through Sunday or every Friday through Sunday at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or I play somewhere around County. there, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So uh if somebody wanted to do Get in contact with you. They just need to go to your Facebook page or Facebook page or or my website coldegs.com and um, yeah, all my booking infos on there. You can check it out. Call me, email me, do something. There you go. I'll be there. Hey, also we're gonna uh, like we do every week. I know a lot of you people are only listening so that you can get your twenty percent off because we give a coupon code every single week. And I know when I tell you this, you're gonna hang up your phones and go straight to the website. So I try to hold off to the very end, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now. Our coupon code this week, we couldn't, we weren't creative, and we just uh, didn't have very good taste. So we, our coupon code is just Cole. It's just Woo! capital C O L E, all capitalized. What's up, Cole? And that's good for twenty percent off. Wow! So that's the most money you've been worth in a very long time. It is nice. Man. <laughs> it feels good. Yeah, it's <laughs> worth good. something, folks. And that's twenty percent off the entire website. Uh, you'll notice on the website. By the way, the website, folks. I mean, you just you got to know where it is, or you're worth nothing. <laughs> right? That's gotfishsticks.com. That's G O T F I S H S T I X.com. And you can go on there, uh, look at the rods, hat, shirts, whatever. But you'll notice if you go down to the bottom of the page, we're helping the Santa Fe, Sol uh, the Santa Fe Police Officers Association with their annual fishing tournament. And we did have the flyer on the bottom of the page. Uh, I believe we took it off, but we're going to add it back again. But it's uh, it was an accident. It's not because we're mad at them or anything like that. Or I'm trying to gain a competitive advantage by not having anybody else fish. <laughs> uh, but uh, so if you go down to the bottom of the page, you can click to sign up for the Santa Fe Police Officers Association tournament. That is next weekend. They're hosting it out of Harbor Walk, and it's for the it's a two day tournament, Friday and Saturday. You can catch. Uh, they're paying out for biggest redfish, biggest speckled trout, which is your favorite with your pink top water. Bam. Oh, and then also they're going to have heavy stringer, three trout, two reds. The cool thing about the tournament is. You can fish Friday and Saturday, and you can keep your weight from your heavier day. So if you have a heavier redfish on Friday, you can keep that one. Heavier trout on Saturday, keep that one. So uh, you can you know, you know, can drop your lowest weight. So that's the Santa Fe Police Officer Association Fishing Tournament next weekend, Friday and Saturday. Uh, we're kind of helping with that. We're sponsoring it as well. I think they got pretty good payouts. Another cool thing is they have, uh, they're going to have a, a big fish category. And a lot of the shark guys from around here in Galveston, I know there's two or three like solid shark teams going out. And so there'll probably be a big shark hanging as well. It look, it's usually pretty cool. And then that's that week. And then also, while uh, after that, you'll show, scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will see the flyer for the Who's Your Flatty Daddy Flounder Fishing Tournament. Sweet. Can you say that? Who's Your Flatty Daddy? Who is Your Flatty Daddy? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And uh, so that tournament's October 21st. That's the Fish Sticks Tournament. This is our fourth annual this year. It's looking pretty big. We're getting our sponsors together as well. We are giving away that Dargle Boat. This year it's the uh, Who's Your Fatty Daddy Flounder Fishing Tournament presented by Dargle Boats. And we're, what we're doing, folks, is we're giving, the, we're giving you a raffle ticket 
if you sign up for that tournament. The tournament entry is $100 per person. And it's uh, all the proceeds go to Coastal Brigade, which is a kids camp that they just finished up here in Galveston and we're getting started for the next year as well, uh, where they do hands-on, uh, you know, kids camp uh, training and all sorts of biological stuff. It's run by my buddy that works at Parks and Wildlife and does all these samples. And so he does a good job with it. But anyways, so you get a free ticket if you sign up. Or you can buy tickets if you don't like fishing, but you just for some reason want to win a boat. You can buy tickets. These tickets are $50 a piece. And you can go to our Facebook page, which you're watching right now. When you get done watching it, give us a like and give us a share. It's like I said this. When you go to church and the preacher does a really good job, he passes the little uh, offering plate around and you, you put whatever you can in there. That share button is my offering plate. If you think this guy did a good job... Put something in that offering plate and hit the share button. Yeah. You know nice. what I'm saying? I like that. I like yes, that. Yes, yes. Hey, also, uh, so when you share it, after you share it, go to the uh, page, go to Shop Now, and you can see the uh, you can see the raffle tickets on there. And uh, you can get as many as you need, and we'll send them to you and get, get them ready for the tournament. So just a brief overview, enter Cole at checkout or your, for your coupon code, 20% off. And that's not that you cannot use the twenty percent off for the uh, for the tournament entries. You can just use it for the products. But uh, other than that, man, what else you got? I I love the fish stick rod. I gotta say, without him sitting here, <laughs> awesome rod. I've been slamming some fish on that thing. It's I love it. I just absolutely love it. So thank you. Yeah, they got, I got one of these right here, freedom stick. Yeah, this is his. Free, he, this ain't his, but he got a freedom stick. So every time I hook a fish, I say. Oh, beautiful. Well, you know what I say? Just so my buddies can hear I say, I say uh, oh, say, can you see yes. how many fish you'll catch with that rod? <laughs> right? That's what I do. It's nice. But anyway, so he got this on 4th of July. What had happened was I had a buddy, uh, this guy is sitting over here. He's like, hey, man, I got this friend named Cole Deggs. And I said, I'm sorry about that. And he said, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. But anyways... So we went and presented it to him. He was singing live at, uh, at Lake Jackson. And uh, the crowd was moderate. It was, you know, pretty, uh, it's pretty dead, I'll be honest with you. And, and I went up there on stage, and I said, hey, man, I got a rod for you. Uh, I think it turned the show around. And they threw three women out for going topless after we did that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was the wildest thing. Yeah, it was crazy. If you weren't there, you definitely missed out. Yeah, you missed out, I'm telling you. They were uh, senior citizens from the local... <laughs> Yeah, it was wild. But hey, it happens, all right? We can't control what happens. But there's a lot of power in those rides. It really is. But no, the show was awesome. He did a Thank really you. good job. If you've never seen him live, uh, you got to see it. It's pretty yeah. It's pretty amazing to watch. This is, uh, this really? is like, you know, it's the real deal. This is Cole Diggs, <laughs> Nashville recording artist. I, I've got him on salary over here, so <laughs> appreciate that. We'll work that out when we get done. Yeah. But hey guys, if you have any questions, Liz, we got anything? Chris Dawkins asked, other than the typical country artists, what other genres of music artists have influenced your career? Oh, gospel for sure. Um, rock. I'm a Metallica fan. I'm a Led Zeppelin fan. I'm a, um, I grew up playing the piano in church as a kid. And, and, uh, and uh, so I have tons of different influences. There's, it's not just country, but yeah. Good question. That was a good question. Oh, a and what's your favorite song you have? Does it, do you have like one song that's your favorite over all of them? I'll be honest, I don't like any of my songs. After well, I, you know, I was going to sit here and try to lie and say I like them, but I'm glad you were honest. I was, <laughs> you know, I was, no, I'm kidding. Well, that song, uh, Driving Jesus Crazy, Yeah, that's a good song. Well, thank you. Yeah, but my new favorite is now Red. Okay. And that's what I said. That is what I, I said. I was born and bred. Color on my neck. Yeah. And I got a goat bread. that mows my grass. <laughs> yeah, you should get a goat. Actually, I have a yard company, but still, it's cheap. goat's probably cheaper. Cheap. Well, Real you know, sweet. when I was growing up I, um, up in East Texas, true story, I'm really from East Texas, I walked into my aunt's house and there was a goat in the living room. <laughs> and I said, you know what, that's how I know I'm red. You know? <laughs> hey, guys, that's it for today. Are there any more questions? They want to hear another song. Yeah. I said we hear another song. What do you want to do? Guys, we're going to fade this out when he's finished. So appreciate you watching. Check out the Facebook page. Check out coldegs.com. C-O-L-E-D-E-G-G-E-S.com. Thank you all. We'll see you next week.
didn't even say goodbye. It makes me so mad that I still cry. Let me standing here empty hearted. Felt like we just got started. You didn't even say goodbye. Every time I close my eyes I'm right back running through that night I wish I would have said or done something But I'm haunted cause I couldn't do nothing Every time I close my eyes I've been driving Jesus crazy Begging him to come and save me From this missing you Wishing you were right here, right now How am I supposed to live if I can't breathe without you, lady? I've been driving Jesus crazy That was epic, dude. That was epic. <laughs> thanks, man. Hey, I appreciate you being on the yeah, show. Yeah, thank back you. Anytime. Thank Seriously. you. I appreciate it, brother. Guys, thanks for watching. Yeah. Thank you.